Alright, let's start! Hi everyone, my name is Venla and welcome back to my channel where we talk about zero wasting, veganism, environmentalism and pretty much everything that interests us. In today's video I want to take you on a little tour of my kitchen. As we all know, the kitchen is the heart of the home and it is a very important part of the zero waste lifestyle because that's where food is prepared, where the hummus is made and where bulk food is stored. Just a tiny disclaimer before we get into it, I do not live in this apartment on my own. I have two roommates. Some of the things you'll see are theirs, but most of them are indeed mine. So let's get right into my zero waste kitchen tour. We'll start with the surface that has all the big kitchen supplies. There's my kettle, because it's much more energy efficient to boil your water with that than in a pot. There is a toaster that is actually not mine, a mixer for smoothies, and the wooden kitchen supplies. And here is a tiny tutorial of how I make my smoothies. So I usually use oat milk, berries, bananas, and apples. Then I just cut the apple and the banana into pieces. Put them in the mixer. with berries, pour some oat milk on it, and there you go. This is something that I love to drink in the mornings after my breakfast. Let's continue the tour. And nothing special here. This is my oven where I make my muesli or lasagna or whatever other things I want to make there. On this next surface I have salt and pepper and these oils that are in glass bottles. And this is where I keep my onions. So these are salt and pepper grinders that I actually refill with salt and pepper that I've bought in glass bottles. And I'm still looking for a way to refill these oil bottles because I have not found a store in Helsinki that would have refillable oils. So we all have our own little copper, cup, cupboard, 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 cupboard. So we all have our own little cupboards here in the kitchen and this is mine. This is where I have my plates. My smoothie glasses, my bowls, cups for drinking tea, because I don't drink coffee myself, and wine glasses. I've gotten most of these from my mom or as a gift from other people. This next surface is where I wash my dishes and where the sink is. Next to the sink I have a sponge, an all-purpose cleaning liquid that can be refilled, a detergent or dishwashing liquid, however you want to call it, that can be refilled as well. And I actually hold it in this old agave syrup. Agave? Agave? Agave. And I actually hold it in this old agave syrup bottle. Then there's my cloth that I've already mentioned in my previous video. Then there's this metal thing where I leave cutlery to dry. And my bio-waste jar. The bio-waste jar actually does have to be emptied pretty often. It's so small that I can usually fit one week's bio-waste into it and then I have to empty it. And we do have a dishwashing machine. It just isn't very aesthetic so I didn't film it. Now we'll get to my favorite part of the kitchen. My zero-waste shelf. So here I have the big jars with muesli, flour and oats. On the next level I have couscous, peanuts and nutritional yeast. Here we have chickpeas, dried onion, millet puffs and more peanuts. Here are some of the herbs. I have basil that I have dried myself. There is garam masala and tikka masala. Some more salt and pepper. Oil from sun-dried tomatoes that I bought from the store. And baking soda. I also have a broad variety of different tea kinds. So the ones that are packaged I have gotten from friends or they belong to my roommates. In these metal boxes I have loose leaf tea. I think green tea and rooibos. All of these jars, by the way, I have bought recycled from the recycling center here in Helsinki. So don't go out there buying new glass jars. You can very well buy used ones 
or you can just buy food from the store that's packaged in big glass jars and then keep them. I also have a shelf here full of jars that I've saved, washed and that I intend to repurpose again. And at the top there are some more jars and glass bottles that I use for many different purposes. I can put lemon water into one of these and then serve that when it's cold. I can keep water ice cold in the fridge because the water that comes out of the tap is usually not cold enough. And I can use these for serving water when I'm making a dinner or I can use them as flower vases. And last but not least there is the fridge. It's not very beautiful at the moment, so I will just film one shelf. Here is some hummus, some leftover tomato sauce, then there's some barbecue sauce that my roommate has made, and orange apple jam that we made together. Oh, and I do usually have a fruit plate on the table so that I can make my smoothies out of these fresh fruits. And that's pretty much it. That was my kitchen, the main parts of it. I, of course, do have more shelves and cupboards in there, but I thought they wouldn't be relevant for this video. So I just showed you what I think was important from the zero waste perspective. I will make another video about 10 essential objects or items that you should have in your kitchen in order to be more zero waste, so keep an eye out for that. But next week's video is going to be a hummus recipe, because nowadays I never buy hummus from the store anymore, I always make my own, and I've come up with a pretty good recipe, so I want to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed my little kitchen tour. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye!